Hell's bells, what a uh, what a boat ride over. It was about four o'clock this morning left home. Got to the ramp at um, 7, 7.30. And then um, waited for the guru. And um, he got there about eight and then you wouldn't believe it, the fucking boat wouldn't start for about an hour and a half. So we ended up taking it back to Dartmouth. Run into a bloke there at the caravan park named Peter. Fucking top bloke. Spent three and, three and a half hours with us um, getting this boat going from eliminating everything. We finally got it worked out. The bloody block carby, block jet in the carby. So, um, whatever. Here we are. We've made it. Guru setting up camp over there. There he is. We got the aftermath of the beach landing and then the boat down there. Looks like a fucking bomb's going off here. All we've run aground and everything's come out the front. But um, it was pretty much just fucking pinner till we hit the bank. And that's where we've ended up. So um, I've got seven days here. A few other fellas have come in for four for the weekend and then um, a couple for the midweek crew. So plenty of hunting to be done. Got this big low snow coming down tomorrow, Friday. So see how white it gets tomorrow. I'll keep the camera off now for a while and um, touch back in later on in the, in the week. Yeah, they're hooking with the tailwind. No, we haven't yet. Like oh, yesterday was a <laughs> yeah. Yesterday was atrocious. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> Nah. Everything's We haven't got a fire cup. Feeling lucky today, man. Yep. <laughs> Me's got the big nine point three ready. Bit of a windy day. It's supposed to be snowing down 500, but it hasn't fucking snowed much here. Might be some over on the hill, but nothing down here. We just got dropped off by um, Zach, lightweight, and um, we're just going to head up into this big gully system up, out of the wind. All reports look pretty good, so stay tuned, eh? Oh man, what are we doing? Just having a coffee, mate, before we get ready to head up the creek. Gonna do it most of the day. Most yeah. of the day on the Sambas, yep. Lake Dart. Yep, Lake Dart. Hopefully, we see one. I reckon. Rumour has it you missed one yesterday. Yep. Yep. More about that later. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had that. Bad.
Wait, what's it doing? It's down, dude. <laughs> we're on the bloody... It's fucking snowing on us. And we're going up high to glass some bloody deer. So it makes heaps of sense. Let's see how we go. Yeah, I was warned the hills were bloody big up here, and they're um, not wrong. Me and the guru had just come up halfway up this hill to um, glass the big face over there. But um, the wind's really picked up on there, and it's a cold wind, so I don't think there's going to be any deer on it. There's not much sun around. And to be honest, we haven't even cut a one fresh track from um, two and a half k's away. <laughs> so I'm going right up. Shane's going back down into the bottom and just see what we pull up between now and 2 o'clock and then um, back to camp. I'm hoping I get up into a gully head, pop down into it and there'll be one just down in there. Tough gig, this big country, but that's what's good about it. You know, you could pull out a bloody monster or you could just shoot a doe and take the back straps and go home. Happy days either way. Day four now, and um, things are going pretty well. That first day there, when I was hunting with Min, I bloody um, I missed three shots on a stag. The first one I thought was pretty good, might have hit a bit of scrub. Chest shot front on. Pretty good looking stag. <coughs> But um, I never caught up with that thing. It actually ended up in this gully in front of me, just beyond camp. Just too excited, too much anticipation for such a big hunt. And um, just got way too ahead of myself. 25 plus for sure. So just glassing some country now. Um, three of them are heading out today, just after lunch. So I'll head down at lunch and um, say goodbye and then we'll uh, stick it here for another week. Stay tuned.
two shots and um, two deer down there. Got mum down there and then this one ran up in here with a yearling. And then um, I shot the little bugger. No stags with them, but that's alright. I'm bloody not far from camp, eh? <laughs> Another fella over here to me right. And um, hopefully he gets onto another one. But yeah, that'll be me tucker tonight. Whack the ribs off it and get all the meat up. And I know Joel likes um, babies, so good mate. Time to get to work anyway. It shows, gives you a little bit of an insight. Don't always just kill them for the fun of it. <coughs> Gutted the little one out. All sweet in there. Um, take that one back to camp with me now and then see if the other boys want to come in for a stroll and grab that other one tomorrow I know, I know there'll be a couple of keep, keep keen fellas so laughing Old Guru and fucking Joe Fish were up in this gully's put nine shots at a fucking deer. So, um, I think it's down now. And um, the rest of us are going to go and carry out a hind in the boat and bring it back. And then um, some of the boys will depart, so happy days out here. Shall we get to work? Yeah, it's good to work. Can't sit here all day. <laughs> it's too good though, eh? Be nice. Get a couple of cans. Get we'll do something on. with it. How are we going out the back, boys? All good? <laughs> These good cunts come up and give us a hand to uh, bring out this hind that we I shot yesterday, Arvo. So, um, big ups to them boys for that. Yeah, that's why I had a fucking hissy fit when I got to the bottom because of all the fucking dogwood. Don't want to get me started ranting about fucking dogwood. Oh, it's good to see the lake anyway. How you going there, Shaga? Yeah. Another good cunt that helped carry out that hind. It's got a sweet pack though. Yeah, bros, we're getting there. Surprising that the um, closer you get to the lake, the fucking thicker the scrub is, that's for sure. It's all good up in the hills. Get down here, it's like walking through the fucking jungle. No, I was talking about it. If I'd have found the one I got last night, I would have knocked his heart out. I wouldn't bring it back. No, I just picked up one from Yesty. Oh, you did get it. Where is it? How did you boys go? Have a good day? Yeah, we had yeah. an adventure, mate. <laughs> oh, we had Threw an adventure. <laughs> very was, eventful. I was, um, 
I was following this big deer up the hill. I seen it feeding through the binos, and I started really trying to got away from me. I was trying to take pictures of it, and it feeding up the gully, and I can only just see it in the regrowth. I started hiked it up the up the floor of the gully, try and catch up with it. Couldn't catch up with it, and then I'm sitting there for ages. The next thing, bloody. I hear this deer over to the right, just starts crashing, full pelt, and I'm thinking, must have been my wind. And then bloody, nah, thought it couldn't have been, it was a fair way away. Next thing it starts running straight towards me, got to about 30 metres, and then it sort of, I couldn't take a shot, it was too close. And in the, in the tall bush, and then bloody, it ran uphill, and then it ran back down straight at me again, and then it ran away, and then as it was running away, I found the thing and just shot it. Ah. Uh. Right while it was running off. How many shots did I hear? Eight. This spiker, bulletproof. <laughs> Where's the bullet? <laughs>